Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Hippo Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about a very big release date coming out tomorrow, April 12, 2010. And all graphic designers are probably really psyched for this to come out. It is the release of Photoshop CS5. I am so excited for this. There's so many cool features that I've read or I have heard that are going to be on Photoshop CS5. So I'm just going to take this time for this video and tell you about some of the features that are going to be coming out on Photoshop CS5. So the first feature is Content Aware Fill. Content Aware Fill is probably one you've all heard of. It got like the video of Content Aware Fill got over 2 million views on YouTube. So I'll probably have a link to that in the description if you haven't already seen that. It is the coolest thing ever. It will make Photoshop so much simpler and so much better. Just because you will now have the ability to take anything out of a picture and it will like perfectly match what would have been there without having to have like a different picture. So let's say you have a person running through a picture you don't want there. All you have to do is make your own path and you press the delete or backspace key and it just processes what they will put there. It will it's almost perfect like every time. It's awesome so and also the spot healing brush also does that now too so it's also very 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 nice next tool I would like to talk about is the on-screen color picker just a little thing that will make Photoshop a lot more convenient to use um, it will let you just by clicking a command on the keyboard the color picker will come up and you can um, adjust the hue saturation and the color um, without having to go to a little dialog box so that makes it much more convenient the next tool is the eyedropper tool. Just a little addition to this is it has a sample color uh, thing. And what that does is it compares your current foreground color to the color you pick. So it makes it very nice, especially if you're working on a color scheme. So, yeah. Sorry if I keep looking over here. That's where my notes are. Now there's new brush function. So by moving your mouse horizontally, um, it will change the size. So if you move your mouse in, or to the left, it will make it smaller, and to the right, it will make it bigger, which is very conven convenient if I could talk. So if you move your brush vertically, it will adjust the softness of your brush. And also, you can choose the head of your brush, and what that does is it changes the behavior of the brush. So it the paint adapts to the bristles of the brush. Uh, speaking of paints, there's new paint behavior. So if you have a centralized like glob of paint in the middle, if you move it with your brush, it has the ability to dry out. And if you have like two different colors, it mixes um, more realistically than it did before, which is very nice. Next one, new warping capabilities. The warping, if you warp something, and you sometimes it almost a lot of times it warps what you don't want it to be warped. So now you're allowed to put down control points and those control points make it so those points do not get warped. So that's very nice. Next one is the ruler tool. Let's say you have a picture on a 45 degree angle. You do not want it to be on a 45 degree angle. All you have to do is draw the 45 degree line with your ruler tool and press straighten and it will straighten it out. That's a very nice tool. Um, it will help a lot of people I know for sure. And the last tool is opacity. I always say this is the last tool. It's not the last tool. Okay, opacity. Now you're allowed to change several layers of opacities at the same time. So if you have like five layers and they all need to be at like 50% opacity, just by pressing the first one and pressing now shift into the last one, click the last one, um, selects all those layers. You can change the opacity now, which will save a lot of people a lot of time, especially when you have 100 layers, which need to be like 50 percent opacity so that will save so much time so huge time saver and the last one the actual last one is better edge detecting edge detecting um, now we'll be able to tell the difference between hard edges and soft edges which will make a lot better edge detecting for like masks and stuff so that's all the ones I would think are important enough to uh, make a video on so Leave a comment, are you very excited for Photoshop CS5? And yeah, so thanks for watching to the next time. Um, probably in two weeks, I'm very busy next week um, for some more videos. And bye. And Photoshop CS5 tutorials, I will be downloading the trial most likely. Um, so anyway, bye. Um, and if you move your mouse toward 
vertically, it will adjust the softness. So if you move it up, it will get softer. If you move it down, it will get harder. Um, that's what she said. <laughs>